so hello guys welcome back to my new video so as you can see on my screen that today I am going to show you like how to make the valuation report on land and building and how to make it in excel sheet and also I am gonna provide you this file for free so you can download it and use it for your manual use but before downloading you need to know like since I am providing this excel sheet so you need to know where to make the changes of the valuation that you are going to make from this excel sheet so guys please be careful and watch this video till end and you can download it anyway so just be careful before downloading because you need to make change on each and everything because it's the valuation work and it is also important so guys let us start so at first uh, while during the valuation uh, of a building or a land then we need to make an excel sheet like this so this was uh, the valuation excel sheet that I made few years ago so in this one like valuation of asset so name of the owner and address and fiscal year it was like 2077 and 78 so you have to make change on this one and then let us start so structure type for me it was RCC frame structured so for you guys it can be masonry or anything so you can change as per this so structure type is RCC frame and then so this one is for building okay not for land so this one is for building so my building type was RCC frame my ground floor and it has one number of ground floor with area of 561.09 square feet and first floor of 565.09 square feet so this excel sheet gives the sum of these two things so if you have like a second floor and a roof floor then you can simultaneously add this floor on this one and make the total sum of the total square feet that is covered by a building so total values on a building is this one the same value as this one it is in square feet so as per the rate based on Bhaktapur district rate on fiscal year 2077 and 76 the rate was 2524.530 so this value is important guys so from where you can get this value is simply you can go to the Google and then go to your respective municipality and from that municipality you can just download the district rate of the ongoing valuation of the building and then you can get this price or otherwise you can go to the Malpot Karenle that is located in your district and then just simply ask for the things and then they will give you this rate so this is one of the most important thing that you need to consider while making a valuation report so the amount of our building is it is just the total area of the built up structure multiplied by the rate we got the area we got the total amount of the building so after getting the total amount of the building we need to go we need to fill some details regarding the land because while selling a house then there is also some I don't know there might be some more lands or something you might sell as collective as collectively so in my purpose uh, the land plot number was 1772 so you need to make change on this one and after that the land area was 1647.25 okay so square feet land area was 1647.25 square feet so among that land area our built up area was 561.09 which is same is same as the ground floor so built up area is always same as the ground floor because built up area means the area that is occupied by the building in your land so this one is your built up area and then after that if you deduct uh, this land area minus built up area then you will get the total non built up area which is 1086.16 in my case and then if you just sum up these two things then you will find the total built up area which is equal to this one so this price so you might wonder where this price came from so during that time like during 77-78 the price the governmental price 
of the field or of the field that uh, they were going to sell was 800,000 per ana so 800,000 per ana you can simply get this amount on the Malpot Karaloi or on the district rate so here what I have done is in order to calculate like for one ana what I need to do is 800,000 divided by 342.25 so what is 342.25 is because in one ana of land there is 342.25 square feet of total area so what I have done is so 800,000 divided by 342.25 then you will get it in square feet so for the built up area you get the same value in the square feet and again for the non built up area you can calculate the same and then sum up the total as you can see that I have sum up these things after that uh, cost of the building at present so so you need to remember that there is always a depreciation of the building the land will never get depreciation depreciated and it will never have a scrap value so only building will have a scrap value so cost of the building at present is this much which is equal to this one because we have already calculated the total valuation of the building so cost of the building is this one and then uh, scrap value is like a 10 percent so you can put it like a 10 percent so 10 percent of this one is this one and life in year built up life of the building is about 60 to 70 years so 60 years and then number of years building was built so the building was fresh like it has just been one year so if it is two years then you can simply change this into two three four or depending upon the year where the building was built so just change it that one and then you will finally able to calculate the annual depreciation of the building d is equal to minus cost of the building c is cost of the building at present minus c or c is scrap value divided by n which is number of year this one so just simply put the values and then the software will automatically calculate the annual depreciation of the building which is like 42,646.13 and it is by using the straight line method so there are several methods that you can use in order to calculate the annual depreciation of your building so after that the book value of the building book value is like original value so book value is equals to original cost minus n times d so if you just click here then the software will automatically calculate the book value of the building and then land value built up area which is similar to this one so if you if you put all these things then you will finally get the total value of the building with built up area is sum of these two things sum of this one and this one then you will get the final total value of the building with built up area so this is like uh, the valuation of the asset that you can use in order to calculate for the buildings so after that you need to prepare a report so i approve i am going to provide you the sample of the report of land and buildings also so here are the some of the things that you need to make some changes into so so here in this sheet you need to fill some of the things and if you want to learn detailed knowledge about these things then i have already made a video regarding that one so you can simply go and check that thing where i can where i have like uh, put everything into detail so this sheet is regarding the valuation of land and you need to fill some of the things regarding this so since you are an engineer then you can easily calculate or you can easily fill these things and again for and this, that one is for the valuation of land and this one is for the valuation of the buildings so plain theory you need to fill like plain theory first floor area total floor area number of the floor completed till now so and after that you need to fill some of the things like this and calculate the total depreciated value since you have already calculated that in excel sheet then you can simply put the value and get the result in this sheet so after that you will get your complete uh, excel sheet and the report regarding 
how to do valuation of the land and building and as a theory you can put some of the things like this because we have used the straight line method so I was just focused on putting only single this straight line method in my report so after that uh, simply your valuation report is done and then you can easily submit that to the respective municipality and with uh, in addition to that uh, what I'm gonna provide you is like uh, for the bank purpose because sometimes if you want to go abroad or something like that then you need to make a detailed valuation for the bank so in this cover in this excel sheet I have provided you everything so these are the things that you need to fill that we have already done in the excel sheet before so cover page this is the some details about the land that you have to fill and if you have some additional photos of the land or plot then you can put that in your report and then finally prepare the excel sheet so i have made the detailed video regarding all these things uh, so you can go and look into that one about how to fill all these things and then i will also put the video in the description and in addition to that i am going to provide you all these things for free so guys uh, i hope uh, you like this video and then if you have got any confusion just don't forget to ask and uh, i also have a lot of uh, excel sheet regarding uh, full estimation of gabion walls buildings uh, rate analysis of each and everything so if you want that uh, just give it a comment and just say it like whether do you like this video or not and then if you like and love this video please do subscribe and stay happy guys bye